Hello there lovely people, how are you today? You may have probably not noticed actually that there wasn't a book reviews video for May. The main reason for that was uh, I read one book in May. Um, I'm going to blame that on, you know, the whole, you know, end of school and exams and whatnot, when really it was just kind of a uh, crappy book. Um, but in June I read two books. Um, yeah, I was off for the entirety of June. I'm the laziest person on this entire website. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Okay, the book that I read in May, um, that it took me literally the whole month to read, even though it was, what, how long is it? 249 pages. I, it just bored me so much. And the writing was great. But the story bored me and it just finished. It never, it never finished. It's The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. I know this book is loved by so many people, but I, I just, oh. Uh, I, I don't know what it was about it. I just thought, oh, please end. Why won't this end? You know, the story is a group of sisters decide to kill themselves. That's it. That's it in a sentence. Um, But uh, it was just dragged out so much and I was like oh I don't want to know on this backstory can it just you know move on but no it didn't um I just it just really wasn't for me not really my genre to be honest I need to watch the film to get a proper idea about it but I it just bored me two out of five the first book that I read in June was The Help by Catherine Stockett yes I'm like two years late on reading this book but it did live up to the hype. I thought this was great. Um, I really love the the tri perspective. You know, it had Abelene, who was a maid. It had Minnie, who was another maid, quite sassy. And it had Miss Skeeter, who was a journalist. Uh, story is black maids in Mississippi. A uh, white woman wants to write a book about their story. All hell breaks loose. It's quite big. Didn't need to be that big. That's why one one criticism, it didn't need to be that big. It's was it? Four four fifty pages does not need to be that big. That's just ridiculous. Uh second criticism, not enough mini. Every chapter was either Abeline and then Skeeter and then Abeline then Skeeter. Oh look then a mini chapter and then Abeline, Skeeter, Abeline, Skeeter, Abeline. I was like, I need Minnie. Minnie was my favourite character. She's the sassy maid. She is, oh, she's just the best. I'd read an entire book, just from Minnie's perspective. I loved Minnie so much. It was an enjoyable story. I haven't read something like it before. And this gets four out of five stars. The last book I read in June, I finished uh, about two days ago. Um, I had heard quite a lot about it. I'd seen other YouTubers talking about it quite a lot. The movie of it just came out recently. And, you know, if a movie comes out and there's YouTubers talking about it, you may as well read it. It's The Reluctant Fundamentalist by Mohsin Hamid. This is, as you can see, tiny. It's, what is it, 184 pages long. Story of Changes sitting in a cafe in Lahore in Pakistan, recounting his story of his time in America to a American. Uh, we don't know who the American is. And we never hear his point of view because the entire book is a monologue. It's just Changes talking. The storyline is basically Changes is a Pakistani. He goes to America. He is good at his job and his boss is really nice. And there's a love interest named Erica. And then all of a sudden 9-11 happens. And everyone hates him because he's Pakistani. It's slow. It kind of builds up. It's kind of like a slow crescendo. But the crescendo isn't that big at the end. It's kind of like a an uh, that's that's the book. Three out of five stars. Yep. There are the books I read in May and June. Three. I'm gonna read five books in July. And if I don't, I don't know what I do. Punish me. I don't know, make me recreate the bloody Kate Bush Woodering Heights video. No, I don't no, I'm not doing that. Um but yeah. Five books. Bye.